you go back and restart the my movies it'll show that it's not in there but you can see it's on the hard drive and Windows Media Center has found it so you can go ahead and click on that DVD and it'll show you all the information that it that the uh, my movies collection management found so it found the description the cast and crew and all of this other stuff right. then just show you that it works So it may look a little choppy on YouTube. That's just because of the software that I'm using to record my monitor. Um, if you play your movies and they look a little weird, um, you can right click and it brings up these these other options. There's a commercial for not downloading movies illegal <laughs> legally. All right. So you can change how it looks on your computer screen to either make it take the entire screen or make it look best. You can fool around with that and get it get it the way that you like it. And you can also go to root menu and pretty much any anything that you'd be able to do if you just pop the DVD in. So this is by far the uh, the best option I have found to get a, a digital library of your DVDs on your computer. Okay, so we have one movie successfully on there, and as you can see, they'll just kind of they'll just pop up like this on your. Um, sorry about that. The uh, movies collection management, and these little bubbles right here will show you how complete the the DVD is so and it's not referring to like the actual movie the movie is on your hard drive it'll play the whole thing it's just referring to what kind of stuff is missing and it'll show right here for a game plan it only have 33% it's missing barcode and some other stuff like like rating and all that you can change it manually and you'll actually if you change it manually, like say if I wanted to find the uh, the back DVD cover, you can do that kind of stuff, and it'll it'll give you an option to actually get points for the my movies. So the more points you have, you can either buy them or, or get them by finding this kind of information and allowing allowing my movies to offer it to other other users. Um, those points can be used to like unlock different um, different options within my movies, such as like the layout of of your DVDs, how they are displayed. Um, I don't much care to do any of that stuff, but something you guys can fool around with if you would if you would like. See, it says it requires a certain amount of points, and it'll tell you how many points you have. So something cool to fool around with alright so that was kinda the picture perfect we put it in it the pass key decrypted it this this ripped it to the hard drive perfectly and it found all the information um, that's not gonna happen hundred percent of the time it's it's computer software and it's just not gonna do what it's supposed to do every single time um, so I'm going to show you guys what to do when it doesn't work perfectly because it, it's going to happen. So we'll move on to what to do when it doesn't work. Okay, so there's there's a variety of problems that can occur when you're doing this. And the biggest ones that I have faced is passkey refuses to to begin to decrypt the DVD. Um, sometimes you'll put a DVD in and my movies won't recognize it. Um, I, I want to be able to cover all of the problems that will can occur, but 
eventually you're going to run into some. It's no big deal. Don't worry about it. I will show you how to get around it using Pask or I'm sorry, DVD shrink. So go ahead and try the next DVD. Um, next one I have is Monsters Incorporated. So go ahead and put it in your DVD drive. And we're going to go through the steps just like we did before. So here's the uh, all the detailed steps for this for this um, process. All right, so DVD um, pass key did pop up, and it's working just like it should. So we're just going to let it go through and see if, if the process works. Again, if this goes probably past four minutes, just go ahead and select cancel. That's going to be one of the issues that you'll eventually run into. Alright, so in this case, pass key did successfully work. Another issue that you might get is a window just won't pop up in my movies even if you close it and restart it it won't find it um, a window could pop up saying that the DVD can't be read it can be a different variety of things don't worry about it all you want to do is select whatever window comes up if it's not the copy disk window just hit cancel or, or no or whatever it asks you it may ask you to add it manually just click no and then close my movie collection right. and now you're gonna open up DVD shrink DVD shrink doesn't need passcode I'm sorry doesn't need um passkey to decrypt the movies so even if passkey fails to open up and you try to start it manually and it still doesn't work DVD shrink doesn't need it so it comes up and it works, that's fine. If it doesn't, it's fine. You're just going to hit open disk and it should show the DVD in the DVD drive. You're just going to select OK. Now what it's going to do is um, analyze the movie. So this part should only take a couple minutes. Again, depending on your computer, it can take, it can take up to 10 minutes or longer depending on, depending on your specs. So show up here the percent percent that it is completed. You can even click this enable video preview and it will it'll flash through all the different frames of the DVD. Um, I don't much care for it because I, I'm generally multitasking on my computer and I don't really need to see it. And it I would assume that it, it allows it to analyze quicker. So you can check that or uncheck it. It's it's up to you. So it's going to take a minute to finish analyzing, so I'll come back when this is done. Okay, so as soon as it's finished analyzing the DVD, it'll pop up in DVD shrink. So you can see right here, it's Monsters Incorporated. It has all these different folders, main menu and everything. Um, DVD shrink is, is nice because it allows options to take off different features of the movie, um, different options and make the file smaller on your computer. As I was saying before, putting DVDs on your hard drive is going to take a good amount of space. I like my DVDs to have all the options and to and to be shown in the best quality possible. So I just go to no compression. As you can see it's going to take over 7 gigs. This apparently is a pretty big movie. It's up to you though. if. If you don't have an external hard drive, you don't have a very big internal hard drive, you may want to go to automatic, um, custom ratio, and you can even unselect different um, audio and subscript options. And as you see,